Hi, this is Stephanie March from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine, and I am here to give you a sneak peek at Brasserie Central, Russell and Dessa Klein's new restaurant in Minneapolis. Let's have a look at what's cooking. tried to create spaces within the space. Great place for a business meeting if you're here for lunch or you know an intimate dinner at, at, at night. We've worked really hard to, to think about the acoustics in here. Like everybody else in town, I'm sick of restaurants I can't have a conversation in. <laughs> so you know when we started the design process we sort of had the idea we wanted to do a somewhat updated brass, classic brasserie. But because we're cooking from, from Central Europe and, and Austria and, and, and that area, we were really inspired by Gustav Klimt yeah. and, and that Austrian secessionist art movement. Mm -hmm. And so like all the, the, the gold paneling, the wallpaper that's up behind the bar and in a few places around the room is all very much inspired by, by, by Gustav Klimt. I, th I think for me as a chef, I really enjoy exploring the connection between culture and food mm -hmm. and, and how those things influence each other. And you know, in this case, you know, it's the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Um, uh, so there's all sorts of crazy influences from the east, from Hungary, yeah. even just, you know, Turkey influenced the food, um, and then from the west also, you know, as far as far west as Alsace. Um, and then the menu has a pretty strong northern Italian influence um, because the Alto Adige used to be the South Tyrol part region of, of Austria. Let's go look at the kitchen. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, this it's, is it's pretty much a dream kitchen. We've got our, our schnitzel station, um, which we expect to be quite popular. That's good. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a pretty uh, a popular dish. And our pasta station, we've got an incredible menu of, of pastas and spatzel and dumplings. The view for the for the cooks when they're over here yeah, is like, you know, that's, that's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty interactive because we have 10 seats right here. Oh, so you're huge. you're basically going to be able to, you know, shake hands with the cook. Still need to get more pepper in this. Okay. Here's the tricky part. You cannot add stock to this. Okay. This is a restaurant that's been designed and built and now run by people who work in restaurants. And that's a major difference, I think, from a lot of places. So we really thought through the flow, the workspace, how everything is going to happen here. Um, so that uh, you know it's as efficient as possible, and we're really you know able to do what we need to do. So let's go to the pastry kitchen because that's everybody's favorite place. We're gonna inv we're gonna invade the pastry kitchen, right? Everybody loves to come to the bakery. The pastry kitchen is becoming like your kitchen at home because we all seem to congregate in here. You know? Is that it? Yeah. Which I have a feeling at some point she's gonna tell us all to get the hell out of the pastry kitchen. Mark, can you get this shot because this is important. That's just a little bit. Just, just a little, little bit, bit of butter. Yeah. Yeah. We've got our walk-in coolers and, and our butchering area. This area is just for butchering all of our meats and fish so we can keep everything segregated. It's been two years of work that we've been, that we've been doing this. Um, and to see it now, we're just a few days from opening, to see it all come together. Um, I'm incredibly excited about the food um, and, and the menu and the way that's all come together. And, and now I just want to share it with everybody. And that's what I'm most excited about at this point is kind of taking the, the, the paper off the windows and, and, and revealing it to everybody. Yeah.